Take a look. What's going on guys, it's your boy Big Hero Chris back at you with another one. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, ring the notification bell, hit me up on Twitter, TikTok, the community post, you already know the vibes. And also, I want you to take time to first acknowledge your tribal chief, and also say thank you to The Rock, the great one, the people's champ, the final boss for once again making wrestling exciting once again, man. He, he's done done it again. Another week, another episode of SmackDown, another Friday. So that means The Rock had to drop some gospel on a social media. This time he dropped an eight minute video. It wasn't as long as his previous ones. So now we're, you know, we're, we're, we're getting a little bit down in the time. So, you know, that's always a cool thing. But The Rock did what he does best and that's lay the SmackDown via smoke social media. And then he came out. He came out, guys. He came out. He did that cool ass entrance he did last week. But here's the twist. Here's the thing, it started off with his normal theme, the whole if you smell the rockets cooking, the electricity, you know, the lightning bolts and all that, but then it happened. It happened, the rock came out to his Hollywood 2003 theme. I almost leapt out of my skin. I almost took my shirt off, I almost took my pants off. The mana was too strong, the electricity was too strong because the rock brought it back, man. Even though he's a heel, even though he's a bad guy, he's still your and my people's champion. He's still giving us what we want. Even though he's a dis dirty, despicable, disgusting, disrespectful heel, he's still giving the people what they want. And what the people want is entertainment from The Rock. They want to sing along with The Rock. They want the rock concert and we got it back not only did we get heel rock not only did we get the 2003 hollywood theme but we also got a rock concert because this episode of smackdown took place in memphis and the rock started off this promo by saying that normally he disrespects every town that he's gone in through these, these these past few weeks but memphis is different because memphis is where he began his wrestling career so memphis he said finally the rock has come back home and the people were up for this they were chanting welcome home and thank you rock and rocky and all that so this felt like a face promo even though the rock cut <laughs> a heel promo a heel sing along a heel concert and basically what he did was he cut down cody rose he talked about cody rose mama he talked about cody rose dad he called cody a mistake once again he talked about seth rollins he said that seth rollins wife becky lynch is more popular than he is he said <laughs> He talked about the Cody crybabies, he called them all bitches and everything. And then The Rock got serious. The Rock got on the mic and said, listen, although we're having fun, we gotta get serious. And he let Cody Rose know that even though, you know, The Rock was saying all these things and Cody slapped him last week, he made fun of the fact that Cody started crying and talking about his mom. So Cody, so The Rock said that Cody will not be giving his mama belt. The Rock is gonna give Cody's mama belt. And he brought out one of his weight belts, one of his um, blood, sweat, tears, respect, whatever it says, with the Rock logo on it. And he said at the end of the night, at the end of WrestleMania night two, it's gonna be covered with Cody's blood, sweat, and tears. And he's gonna give that belt to Cody's mom. And then he's gonna whisper in Cody's, Cody's mom's ears, what more can I say than you're welcome? I'm like, yo, The Rock, He's on a whole nother level right now. Like we've seen heel rock, we've seen corporate rock, we've seen Hollywood rock, we've seen the rock be a heel, but this is like the a whole new level. Like he's really embracing this final boss character. He's really like a super villain. <laughs> Somebody on Twitter said that they never want to see The Rock play a, a good guy in a movie ever again. And I agree because this dude, he's like on a Thanos level. At this point, you might as well cast The Rock as Kang. Thanos, whoever, man, just make this man the final or the, the real final boss. The Rock was cooking. 
Whew, Cody, man, you gotta fight back more, bro. And speaking of Cody, next week on SmackDown, we're gonna get the face-to-face -face between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. No Rock, no Seth Rollins. It's gonna be Cody and Roman. Cause at the end of the day, like the real main event is still between Cody and Roman Reigns. And we still gotta get these two face-to-face -face on their own by themselves. You know what I'm saying? So they can really hammer home the fact that this really is the main event the importance of this main event at WrestleMania. And speaking of WrestleMania, speaking of the bloodline, Jimmy Uso had a response to his brother, Jay, who challenged me this past Monday on Raw. Jimmy straight up said that, man, never forget who's big brother, never forget who raised him, never forget who's the oldest and all that, you know, all that older sibling stuff that they don't have to do so much. And he pretty much accepted the challenge of, Jim, of Jay and he ended it by saying, yeet. So it's official WrestleMania, Jimmy versus Jay, Blood versus blood, brother versus brother, twin versus twin, yeet versus no yeet. It's official. And we got some more matches that were made official. We had Logan Paul and um uh and Nick Aldis' office. He wants first things first, he wanted an apology from Randy Orton for attacking him and KSI last week. And he also wanted to know who his opponent at WrestleMania was gonna be. So this leads us to our match between Randy Orton and Grayson Waller. And one thing that really made me laugh about this match was the fact that Randy Orton is going to RKO you. He's going to hit that backdrop on the table, but he's also going to make sure that you hear his entire theme from beginning to end. <laughs> like He takes his sweet time making his way to the ring, and he's out here hugging fans and pointing at Grayson Waller, and he hits the pose, and it's just funny, man. It's just vintage Randy Orton. Randy Orton ended up winning the match, even though he had Logan Paul on commentary and he had Austin Theory trying to run interference. Randy Orton hit an RKO after Grace Waller tried to hit the Roman flip de doo and it just got reversed into an RKO. One, two, three. And then after the match, man, he had Grace and Waller and Austin Theory and Logan Paul trying to attack Randy. But of all people to come out, you had Kevin Owens come out to make the save. But he almost got hit with an RKO on his own because Randy, he's getting beat up by everybody. He doesn't know what's going on. So he kind of stopped himself. And then after the match, you had Nick Aldis come out and he asked um, um, Logan Paul, how did that apology go from Randy Orton? No pop. But he did figure out who Logan Paul's opponents at WrestleMania were going to be. And it's going to be a triple threat match. Randy Orton, Kevin Owens taking on Logan Paul. And then after this happened, he had Austin Theory try to, you know, run in and do whatever. He got hit with a stunner. And then he flopped so hard, flew up so hard, he got hit with an RKO for his trouble. So that was a hilarious spot. Hilarious selling from Austin Theory. Hilarious selling from Logan Paul, who's looking like he's about to have a mental breakdown. He's looking like his brother Jake when he fights Mike Tyson. He's saying, no, 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 no. So it's official triple threat at um, WrestleMania for the United States Championship. Another match that was made official, AJ Styles, LA Knight. LA Knight came out earlier. He challenged AJ and he was saying, well, he was looking for AJ. He's like, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? But he's going to make it official. He put out the challenge, and then as um, LA Knight's talking, AJ Styles run out of, runs out of nowhere and hits him in the back with a steel chair, gets on the mic and says, I accept. So that's another match made official. So we're just getting matches out the wazoo at WrestleMania on this episode of SmackDown. And one more thing we got to talk about is this little um, tag team tournament to see who will be in the ladder match to, to face the, um, the Judgment Day at WrestleMania. First match was between Legato Del Fantasma and the LWO. And this was a pretty solid Lucha match. It was a whole bunch of flying and flips. And not really to my surprise, because you already had the LWO who's competing for the NXT Tag Team Championships. So I wasn't really expecting them to win. Legato Del Fantasma won. So they're going to go on to face the winners of the new Catch Republic and Pretty Deadly match. And the new Catch Republic ended up winning their match. So I think next week, I think it's no 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 it's next week is gonna be another set of bracket matches I think one match is gonna be the Street Profits taking on the Authors of Pain and then the other match is gonna be Grayson Waller and Austin Theory taking on the Good Brothers the OC the Bullet Club whatever the hell you want to call them speaking of the LWO we had a match a quick match between Dragon Lee and Santos Escobar and like I said this was quick it was just shy of being a squash match, Santos won 
After the match, Legato does Fantasma is attacking Dragon Lee. Carlito comes out, he tries to make the save. He gets beat up, and then Rey Mysterio comes out. He goes and almost hit the 619 on Santos. Santos gets out of the way. And then Rey makes the challenge. Santos, Rey, SmackDown next week. I thought it was going to be a WrestleMania match, and it very well still could be, you know. There could be some shenanigans that take place, and it'll probably either be a one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania or a multi-person match with the Legato and the LWO, so we'll see how that goes. So the last thing we have to talk about is women's business. We have Bailey versus Dakota Kai. We saw them both coming into the arena earlier. We saw Damage Control cutting a promo on Bailey, saying that, listen, Bailey was jealous this whole time. She was jealous of EO. She was jealous of Dakota. She was jealous of Asuka. She didn't really like Kyrie too much. So they had to cut loose ends. They had to trim the fat. They had to get rid of that cancer that was Bailey. And this is all cap, you know, because Bailey said that she was trying to do what was best for damage control. So we got two sides of a story. But this leads us to this match between Bailey and Dakota Kai. And it was pretty short, but for what it was worth, it was a good match, man. It was hard hitting. You had Bailey busting out moves and doing elbow drops and whatnot and hitting stunners between the middle rope. And Bailey got a pretty good face reaction, man. It was pretty cool to finally see Bailey come out as a face and wrestle as a face. So that was a good look. And as this match is going on, you had damage control out there causing shenanigans and whatnot. The shenanigans were at an all time high. And this match went to a no contest because EO and Asuka and them, they started getting into the mix. And they're putting the beat down on Bailey. And of all people to come out, you had Naomi. She comes out, she tries to make the save, but damage control, they take her out of the commission. They beat her up too. And as this is happening, you have the crowd in Memphis, Tennessee, chanting EST, 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 and Bianca did not come out. Because if you remember what Bianca said last week, she ain't got nothing for Bailey. Bailey's been giving her hell for months. Not nah, scratch that, she's been giving her hell for years. So she's not gonna come out and help. And <laughs> people were legit thinking she was gonna come out, but she didn't. And Damage Control ended up standing tall over Bailey's broken, battered, and beautiful body. What a way to end SmackDown. Next week is gonna be lit, and we're getting closer and closer to WrestleMania. This Monday, I'm going to be at Monday Night Raw because it's going to be in Rodney, so yay. But with that being said, guys, what did you think of this week's episode of SmackDown? Let me know in the comment section below. If you smell what Big Hero Chris is cooking, peace, you cowards.